So today we're in our global school garden in North Wicklow Educate Together. I've been working on this garden for the past year with my third years in the short course in sustainability and with my transition years for their outdoor learning class. I think a really positive aspect of young people's education can be learning outside. I think many schools have gardens and they're not really sure how we can connect our learning in the garden here with global citizen education themes. We're trying to talk to students about seed saving, about the impact that our food system has on those living in the global south who are more affected by the climate crisis. So we're using sustainable materials that we forage locally. So we're not bringing anything extra in that we've had to buy or has had to be made specially. At the same time, they're getting the experience of working with natural materials and um, doing crafts that might inspire them. So I made this insect model and it's all um, made with recycled wood from the wood crafting class so and all these it's from this garden so no trees have been wasted <laughs> and yeah i hope this insects will like it <laughs> we actually built this fence over here we've had to pick out of the ground and we had to build the whole fence that took time we like wove it together and then that over here this polytunnel basically broke down in a storm so we took the old plastic from it and made it into a wind cover and rain cover. My name is Erin. I'm in TY Outdoor class in North Wicklow Educate Together. We're doing seed saving. These are purple sprouting broccoli seeds. I think what's really important is that the students in school get an opportunity to really learn and see in a very practical, not in a theoretical way, the impact that their actions have on the world around them. Our idea from food waste originated from, we were up in a room doing some work and we were learning about how food waste works, why some of the world don't even have enough food to feed themselves, but we're able to waste so much. And then from there, we researched that and we did an action towards making a soup out of food waste. We were learning uh, quite a lot about all the unethical behavior going on in the chocolate industry. So I decided to look into it for my CBA and yeah, now I'm serving hot chocolate made from only fair trade products from South America. So there's a lot of farmers who don't get paid well for growing we'll cocoa beans. In so fair trade and organization help them and we're using products from that organization to support them and spread awareness about it. It brings areas like botany to life for them. It brings areas like chemistry to life for them when they see the impact of pesticides on the world around them. But also then they connect it to politics and society at leading cert level where they see the impact of the choices we're making or having on the rest of the world. It's not just spreading awareness, it is fun and gets you actually involved in it. I feel more educated after doing an action rather than just sitting there and learning from a whiteboard. We are working in a group as well and we're like working with the staff and stuff. So I feel like we're all, we're all very linked together. This is a really, really strong and good example of how you can connect what you're doing in the garden and what you're seeing locally with what's going on around the world in terms of social justice and human rights. 